Now, if you know me in the real world, not just on Minecraft, you may know that actually, over the last few months, I worked at McDonald's, which um, some could describe as the happiest place on planet Earth, and, and some would describe as the epitome of my existence. Um, joking aside, it's um, I'm, I'm going to be talking about the truth behind McDonald's, and, and not really exposing them, because it's really... Come on, if they're doing anything really bad, like, it wouldn't be a business. But just more some of the, the behind the scenes, you know, like, oh, did you know this? Like, kind of cool information. So, and also, legally, I think I have to say this, but anything I say represents my opinion and not the company, even though I don't work for them anymore. And, and, but, but, you know, that might affect me in case I want to get a job at McDonald's again one day. So, so let's talk about the milkshake machine. Why is it always broken? Well, actually, it's always broken because it is genuinely always broken. It's designed to break. No one knows why. Um, most of the milkshake machines, the ones I used anyway, look like this. Um, they were on one side here, basically, we've got the milkshake, and on the other side, we've got the McFlurries. And all it is is condensed milk and then syrup. There's not, like, I don't think it's real milk, probably. I don't know how condensed milk works, but it's not just, like, a, um, a four-piner that you get in your local co-op. Um, but yeah, it, basically, right, the, 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 the milkshake side of it's fine, it runs out quite a lot. The McFlurry side, no one likes it. It takes so long to pour it, and it's designed to pour one or two at a time, like within a 10 minute period. If you pour like, if you are, if you go to your McDonald's but like, you man, what's up, I want 10 McFlurries, they will spit in them, I'm not even joking. I'm actually joking about that, but they, it, it will just go so slow and it will break. It takes four hours to clean it, and during that time it goes on what's called a heat treat, and it, it heats up to like 200 degrees inside. And also every two weeks it needs to be completely dismantled and reassembled by by someone who actually knows what they're doing to make sure it works and to clean it and stuff, which takes hours, and if it's not done correctly then it needs to be redone. It's just... When we say it's broken, it's not because we don't want to make you a drink or an ice cream, it's because it's broken. Um, another um, th thing, of course, would be um, how, how the food's made, and I, I always get asked that a lot. They're like, "Yo, oh, bro broomstick, we're, what's what's in McNuggets?" I don't know. Fun fact: we get everything delivered to us already to go in the fryer. Like it comes in frozen boxes. We don't we cook them, but we don't like slaughter the chickens and then mold the chicken nugget shapes. And before you ask, no, I don't know why there's like different shapes of chicken nuggets I don't know if that's some kind of conspiracy or there are specific shapes I don't know they like, genuinely I, I don't know and and same with the fries basically they're just like they all they're made in a factory and we get them half cooked and they're frozen and then we, we fry them in the fryer which is always really fun to do you know you just like we like put it under a machine it dispenses like the perfect amount of fries and then, then we fry it for like five minutes and then we then we package it up and hand them out I, I worked in McDonald's where there was a drive through and it was like, it's a really big, I live in a quite big city and it's really busy, like, there's no such thing as a quiet day. And we, the, the drive through is the worst and it's in like, it's in a retail park and there's an Asda right across the road. So, I just, they've only, I don't know who designed it, but there's one entrance for both McDonald's and Asda. Which means if it gets busy at McDonald's, no one's getting into Asta. So, so no Asta meal deals for you. Yeah, yeah, you, the person looking at yourself in the, the black reflection. I, I know what you're like, betraying the Tesco meal deal. But yeah, our drive through would get backed up and there's only two lanes. So, and the headset, like, see when you're like, you go up to the, up to the speaker and you give your order. Sometimes it's okay, but most of the time we can't hear you just because of your car or you, you're screaming kids. And yes, we can see you. We have a camera that we, we say like TV in our like booth, and we can see you before you even come out the window. And we can hear you, so we can hear you shouting at your kids, being like, "Yo, shut up! I'm about to give them the order." And and we can see you flipping us off, and we get your order wrong. And yes, we laugh at you, and yes, we judge you. But yeah, the headsets are just on another level, unreliable. Like, it's like they just went into like your local charity shop, found like an old Xbox headset, like tangled up in the box, and then be like, yep, this definitely represents a multi-million dollar corporation at its finest. So yeah, they are, they're literally like Xbox headsets from 2015. Like, I remember my headset, I didn't, I didn't play Xbox, I played PlayStation. My PlayStation 3 headset, 
was of a better quality than the headsets at McDonald's. Another thing is, yes, it's fast food, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be served fast. Like, it's always short stuff. People just don't show up. And remember, McDonald's is literally run by teenagers. Like, the oldest person there was maybe, like, 20. Actually, the oldest person at my restaurant was, like, 60. But she, she like... I, I don't know, she just for some reason wants to work there. And then people are like, oh yeah, I've been waiting here 20 minutes. No you haven't, Karen, you've been waiting there two minutes and I asked you what your order was and you didn't listen so I ignored you. Honestly. I remember this one time, this guy was like, the room had one lane open and this guy was like, had like a massive van, he was like, what are these tough red, I don't know what they're, like a big tough guy. Like he looked like he should be a lorry driver, not a 4x4 driver. <laughs> And I'm taking this person's order, and then they come down the window, and I and I and they, they pay for it, and I give them their change. In that time, he's beeping his horn at the speaker, shouting at me, flipping me off. I eventually answer him. He's like, "Oh, for fuck's sake! I've been waiting here twenty minutes. How come they got served before me?" And I'm like, so "Sorry, sir. They were here before you. Therefore, they were served before you. For some reason, that just." He doesn't understand that. And then he proceeded to say that he was going to drag me out of the window. And, and then I told him to fuck off. And then I got an, an official warning for that. Which wasn't fun, considering he did threaten to drag me by my neck out of my booth. But hey, ho, what, what can you do? Good old, good old Scottish people, you know. We're all happy people. I live in Scotland, by the way. I don't know if I've said that. But yeah. Um, but most of the customers are okay. There were always like the one or two people that would say they were staff just so they could get a discount, but they were lying. That whole like 90p that they might have saved, but yeah. Also another thing is in spitting in food. Does it happen? Well today I can confirm for a fact that we do not spit in your food. Because like, there, A there's cameras, B that's just disgusting, and C, spitting in your food really worth our job? Like that £8 an hour that we get, not really, most people that work at McDonald's are there because they need to be, like, not not many people go to McDonald's, like, as an applicant and be like, this is where I want to work all my life. S some people do, don't get me wrong, like, and there's serious money to be made if you want to be, go into management, for example. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, people make it their career. Do you have any more questions about McDonald's that I could answer and maybe a part two? Anything interesting that you want to know? Any rumours you may have heard? Let me know, I can maybe answer them. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.